the golden ratio, the golden mean, the Fibonacci sequence, you've most likely heard about it. It's kind of this mysterious thing to a lot of new designers and to a lot of seasoned designers, especially those who don't know how to use it. Well, the golden ratio is a number, approximately 1.618. It has been used by artists, designers, and architects for generations to produce beautiful proportions. Normally, we call it the divine proportions because it was known to be used by Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci to create the perfect human proportions when drawing. Now the divine proportion is actually found in the Fibonacci sequence and it goes like this. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, and so on. And it goes on forever. Essentially all you're doing is taking the proportion of the last one and adding it to the new one. Let me explain. So we've got ourselves a square. What we're going to do is just duplicate that down and we're gonna create another square, but it's gonna fit both of these, and it's a perfect square. So this is kind of like one, one, add them together is two, then if we add all of these together with a perfect square, three, and this can go on literally forever. And this is how we use the golden ratio in design. We can technically go on forever here. There's no stopping us. But that would be a pretty boring video. So I'm actually going to show you how to use the golden ratio very easily within your design work. But before I do that, I'm going to show you exactly how to make the spiral in the golden ratio and how you can get the shapes to match. So let's say you're wanting to make that spiral. Well, all you need to do is in Illustrator, go to the arc tools under the line segment and hold shift. Make sure you've got the guides, turn on the smart guides. Um, from each shape, we're just going to create this arc. But you see, it goes a bit weird here. Just press F and it'll flip it around. And we repeat this process all the way around. An arc from the corner or a perfect arc, should I say, from each corner. And there you have it. That is literally the grid that you see a lot of designers use to look fancy. This is a grid that a lot of photographers use, but it's also great for layout. Let me explain. I'm using Figma for this because it's a bit easier. It's like a prototyping app. Now, believe it or not, this layout is actually produced by the golden ratio. It's also produced by the rule of thirds kind of as well. Now, the overall layout that I'm looking at here is you can see we've got one grid section right here so this whole area here is one that we can use then we've got another grid section here and we can split the line exactly to where it's shown here so for this really super simple example we could literally put the headline text here and then an image to the right and we have good proportions you may have to tinker around with the sizing of the text but there's something else you can do with the text to make it easier let's say that you want your text to be in line with the golden ratio let's say you've got an issue with choosing the size of headline text to the size of body text well let's just choose a font here let's go to Montserrat it's a really nice font to use so right now we've got this set at around 75 points now let's say we want to create some body text it's not going to work very well because it's super big so I'm going to skip a couple of weights I'm going to go to bold I don't know what text size to use we could guess but it wouldn't make any sense it wouldn't be in the divine proportion right so a really simple hack is that you can actually do maths inside of the point size tool up here so what we want to do is divide this text the body text by 1.618 so i'm going to press forward slash 1.618 which means to divide by 1.618 hit enter and it will divide that text. Now that seems pretty big to me still, but it could work. So we've got a good proportion there. That looks pretty nice in the sizings, but it seems more like a subtitle. So again, I'm gonna go to divide by 1.618. And now we've got a perfectly proportioned body text all the way through this. So all we've done is taken the headline text, which is 75 points and divided it twice by 1.618, which gives us a really good proportion, a really visually pleasing proportion. Here are some more examples of how the golden ratio works in photography and layout. So for this grid, generally speaking, you want more space in this part here, and you want more detail in this part down here. This doesn't have to remain like this. You can actually rotate it around if you need to. You can actually do this inside of a logo design too, which I will show you in two seconds. So let's say we actually want to use the golden ratio within logo design. Well, we can do that pretty simply. All you need to do is make sure you've got 
all of these squares done. Then all we're going to do is draw some circles inside of them. So get your circle tool, make sure they're perfect circles, and we're just going to keep going inside so they match the squares. Now this is great for logo design because what it does is it sort of like automatically grids and rounds up the logo design shapes to the exact parameters of the golden mean. But what this allows us to do here is to take one of these shapes. Now let me show you an example of how this could be used. Many, many years ago, I did a tutorial about how to design the Twitter bird logo with the golden ratio. And I think it's time to bring it back. All we need to do is find the biggest circle essentially and sort of match it up with the Twitter bird. So find the biggest circle here, which is obviously the shape of this. And we're gonna just kind of match it to the Twitter bird. Okay, so there we go. We've got the Twitter bird there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new artboard and I'm just going to move this over here. I don't know whether the Twitter bird was actually designed this way, but I know it was made by using circles. But to use the proportions correctly, all you can do is just copy over these circles like so. So we've got the main circle there. And again, this is kind of rough. And all we're doing is we're copying over and using the shapes, the ones within the golden ratio to match up with the logo and you can do this with your sketching meaning that each shape is actually used within the golden ratio which is pretty neat and you can see here all i need to do now is highlight this press shift and m get rid of some of these on the outside drag all these together and it's not going to be perfect because i've not spent enough time on this to make it perfect it would take a bit longer a bit more finesse but you can see here how a logo with the golden ratio can instantly be made perfect. Kind of. <laughs> if I had more time, it would be. But you get the point. The golden ratio is about proportions. Now, if you're looking to get better at graphic design in general, maybe logo design, then you've come to the right place. The golden ratio isn't everything you need to know, but there are tools and resources that you need to actually get better at your job and to gain more clients. Hence why Envato is sponsoring this video. You're a designer, maybe you're a freelance, maybe you're working in an agency. Well, you need to have a smack bang looking portfolio. Your portfolio needs to look crisp for your next employer or for your next client project. We spent a ton of time and a lot of money on our portfolio and we are reaping the benefits. And a lot of the mockups and assets that we use on our portfolio are from Envato Elements. Envato Elements have over 50 million assets for you, which is actually absurd when you think about it. All the way from graphic templates to fonts, mockups, scene generators, logo reveals, intros, outros, all the things that you can think of. Now, if you're a designer, you need Envato Elements because they are the best place to get your mockups for the price. In fact, they're actually giving you a better discount whilst watching this video. Follow the link below and you'll get 50% off the annual subscription, which means you have access to over 50 million assets with a simple license, more info in the description, for less than $20 a month. But not only that, they want you guys to know as well, you get a seven day free trial as well, just to try it out and see what's on there. So try before you buy, click that link down below in the description to check them out. An example of the golden ratio being used in logo design is a logo that I did years ago for a HR company uh, called HR Faction, and they like the castle feel, but I wanted to sort of create good proportions. Obviously, it was totally unnecessary to do the golden ratio within this, but it gives it really neat proportions. And obviously this is old work, so there's a lot of things I'll do different. But you can see here as the grid is working, how the golden ratio is used within this. Everything is perfectly aligned and in line with each other. For instance, if we look at the spacings between this and this is exactly the same spacing here in the width. The lines follow each other. And what this does is it gives a really pleasing aesthetic. Now, one problem that a lot of new designers have is that they think that they have to learn this. It's not something that you learn. It's just a guide to help you. That's why it's called a guide. Sure, it is really helpful when it comes to layout and just automatically coming up with a good proportion. But the reality is the only time I really do use the golden ratio at work in my design job is when I'm changing the character sizes or I want to find a good body text. Yeah, I'll use it for layout as well sometimes, but normally I just use grids and I make sure it looks aesthetically pleasing. In fact, you're probably using the golden mean without even noticing because 
so many designs now are based on that. A lot of Scandinavian design within the grid systems actually use the divide proportions by simplifying it down to sort of like the rule of thirds, which you'll see on a lot of cameras when you're taking a photograph. So the question that you probably had coming in here is, I know what the golden ratio is, but should I use it? It doesn't matter, you can use it. It isn't something that you need to know. It can be helpful, but it's not this, you're not Leonardo da Vinci. Let's be honest. We're designers, we're making mock-ups and websites and stuff. As you can see here, it can be quite useful. This whole logo was actually designed within the golden ratio, such as the actual text here, the sizing was scaled, all the things and the proportions were scaled. I was quite proud of this logo at the time. You don't need to know the golden ratio, but it can be helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you wanna do me a solid, then go ahead and share this video to your design communities and friends we want to bring to you as much value as possible we upload twice a week so let me know in the comments below what video exactly what video you would like to see next thank you for watching thanks for subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next video see you soon goodbye